All right, now we're still discussing here the early organization of the Virginia government, all right? Now, specifically talking about 1640s, um, blank established a treaty with natives establishing boundaries. All right, natives reside east of the mountains and white settlers reside west of the mountains. So remember that during Sir William's so William Berkeley's uh, term in office as governor of Virginia, there was a population growth right now from 8,000 to over 40,000, right? So now there was a desperate need of land. So Sir William Berkeley would go ahead and hire these explorers to go uh, west of the Blue Ridge Mountains and and explore and gain territory. He also did organize attacks on the natives. Okay, so in order to keep the peace, a treaty had to be formed. Okay, D uh, state lines had to be drawn. Right, and this was uh, we'll say the 1644 treaty uh, that Sir William Berkeley uh, agreed upon with the local natives. Okay, basically. The natives reside east of the Blue Ridge Mountains, and the white settlers reside west of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Now, let's look into the future, right? If you have massive migration coming into Virginia and you need space, and especially if they're under the head right system where if they work for seven to ten years and paid off their, their indentured servitude, uh, are entitled grants of land, okay? These people are going to want their land after uh, working for so long, okay? So s eventually this treaty uh, became violated, you know, and more <laughs> the local natives, they get pushed further west in the future, though, 